Hey guys, in this video, we'll be talking about digital inputs. Now, what is digital inputs? Digital inputs are basically when you instruct your circuit, whether to turn on the circuit or turn off the circuit using a switch simulation. Now, to practice this, what we are going to be needing are two switches. One to tell the circuits that turn on the simulation where the circuit completes itself and turns on the LED bulb. And another switch is going to tell the circuit to open it up. Once the circuit opens up, the LED switch is no more using the power that it would be receiving from my laptop over here. All right, to begin, what we do is first take the LED, we place it here, all right? Doing that, we should also focus on grounding of our wire. So I wanna make sure I ground my LED glue circuit with the negative, a positive, uh, negative terminal over here. Once that's done, once I have connected my LED, what I wanna make sure is I wanna connect 220 kilo, um, uh, kilo ohms uh, resistor next to the LED. Once that is done, I need to give a power supply. So I'm going to connect this wire, which is in line with the cathode of the LED. And then I'm going to connect it with uh, terminal phi on my LEGO circuit. Once that's done, you have set up the whole simulation regarding the LED light. Now, in addition to this, we need to add our digital inputs. To do so, we need to add two switches just place them uh, one distance apart. After doing that, we take the positive terminal and the positive, I mean the negative, two negative terminals of the switches, and then we ground it with the circuit. Once that's done, we need to give them power supply as well. So what we are gonna do is connect the um, cathodes of these two switches to the Eligo circuit and I've chosen my terminal to be 9 and 8 for them. And of course, I want to make sure I complete the circuit by having uh, a power supply connected to it, in which, in this case, it's my laptop. So I know my connection is secure. I know that I have grounded the circuits. So safety check is done. Now I can start simulating the circuit once I have run my code in. The code will be available on the description box. However, let's go ahead and run this uh, project. So here, uh, I'm going to give a digital input of turning on the circuit or closing the circuit. So that's closing the circuit. This is an input that closes the circuit, like I mentioned before. Now, if I want to open the circuit, which basically loses the power from the LED, so it should switch it off if I open the circuit. So I'm going to open the circuit by pressing this switch. Once the switch has been pressed, you can see that there is no more LED that's being lit up. Now I can do this the whole day, but the idea still remains the same. The switches are just acting uh, as if they would open or close the circuit. The main power supply is coming from over here and you can check whether your LED is being lit up or not uh, using the switches. Mainly the applications of them could be your fan, could be your air conditioner, heater, and there are many more applications of this where you would turn it on or turn it off using a switch over here. So here in my Arduino circuit, I'm using a small switches over here, as you can see. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you like this project. Have a great day. Bye-bye.